Hi, this is Dr. Timur Sengwin with Review.com and I'm here to introduce you to our camera shaking rig. This rig is designed to test the image stabilization performance in cameras and camcorders and it does so by shaking the camera in a very human way in two of the rotational axes. So an object in three-dimensional space can actually move in six distinct ways. You have your linear and your rotational. And in order to measure each of these and how they relate to camera shaking, we had to find a way to measure this. So what we decided to do use a gyroscope and a linear accelerometer that I just happened to have in my pocket, and you may too. I created an application in my smartphone to measure the linear and rotational axes. And we collected data from 27 people in the office on how they shook my phone as they held it like a camera. So once we collected the data, it became obvious that humans are actually really good at keeping a camera steady in terms of spatial dimensions. So we're not moving the camera back and forth. And we're also pretty good at keeping a camera from rolling. But the algorithms inside the camera have to correct for our shakes in the direction that is up and down and in the side to side sort of rotation. And when we analyze the data in respect to how heavy a shake is and how often it occurs, we found that there was actually an exponential decay where the least shakiest is actually the most commonly occurring and then as you get more and more intense in shake, it gets less and less. And we were able to fit this sort of behavior to an exponential decay graph that actually fit extremely well. So we built a rig that can shake in the two dimensions that we found is important for human camera shaking. And then we fed that algorithm into that shaking rig so it shakes just like a human. And then using that shaking rig and a target, we're able to establish how well the sharpness is preserved as a human shakes camera.